Hey guys, Slice so Walkthroughs here, and today I'm going to be doing a Geek Tool tutorial. Okay, so as you can see here, there is lots of black because I don't think my friends will want you to see my Facebook feed, but I'm just unblocking the uh, very nice page of MILF hunting is not a hobby, it's a way of life. So as you can see up here, we have got a Facebook feed. And basically today I'm just going to be showing you how to get this Facebook feed and uh, all the RSS things with it because previously it was quite easy but now it's completely, they've got rid of the RSS feed. So I'm just going to go ahead and start blank and I will see you in a second. Okay, so now that I've deleted everything, we can get onto the tutorial. So go to this link here, do all the following steps, this link will also be in the description. And once you've done that, you should see a page looking like mine. You'll see a link here where it's a black bar for me because I've blanked it out for you guys because I don't want you on my feed. All you need to do is copy that and minimize your browser. And go to Spotlight or Applications and find Automator. So open up your Automator. And what you're going to want to do is choose a application. So now what you're going to want to do is type in get spec and it will come up with get specified URLs. So just click on this and click remove and then press add and paste in this link here. So all you need to do is remove that Apple one and paste in the link that we just copied. So now that we've done that we can go on to the next one which is uh it uh where is it it is um let me just scroll down it is get text from articles so just drag that one there it's blank you don't need to change anything and just leave it there and the next one will be new text file so you're going to need to edit the settings for this bit change this to facebook status and put it as plain text and make sure you tick this replacing existing files or it doesn't really work. You can save this where you want, it doesn't really matter. And once you've done that, you can click run to test it, but I'm just going to save it now. So just click file save and save it as Facebook status and save it wherever you like again. So once they have done, you can get rid of automator. So, as you can see here, in the download pack that I will be including, there will be these two geeklets. So, double click the refresh.glet first, and then once you've double clicked that and installed it, just go on to the geek tool, click on this, and just change the settings, just change the text here. So, change this to whatever you called the app. So, we called it Facebook Status. I will change these for your download link so if you followed all my steps it should just work straight away and you can ch obviously change this to where you saved it so I saved it in my desktop oh. so I saved that to my desktop and just press yes so as you can see here it's 900 seconds because that's best it doesn't lag out your computer you can put 30 seconds but I'm just going to leave it as 90 seconds Okay, so once you have done that, what you're going to want to do is click on the normal feed here and just press yes again. And as you can see, there will be this big box here. And now again, you're going to want to click on the three dots and change it to what you wrote. So I'm going to put this as Facebook status and change this again to desktop and just press yes and as you can see here here is my Facebook feed uh, it's blurred out again for you other than people that uh, like groups and that is my the Facebook feed tutorial done remember to go to the description for the download link the description may not be up for a while because I am at school and it's quite late at night at the moment and 
basically please just subscribe as you can see here this background was designed by fuse design subscribe like and comment if you have any questions or pm